what's going on, mijo. Uh, for Miami's Party Station Power 96, we are chilling with my man. Hold up. I, I hope I hope that you finish it, though. Taylor. Gang. Let's go. <laughs> Wiz Khalifa. What's up, dude? And my brother, DJ Bonix, man. Let's go. We are backstage right now. We celebrate hip-hop, but we backstage at Tortuga Festival, which is awesome. Yep. You know? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, right, that's, cool, that's, yeah. That, that's how, that's <laughs> how hip-hop sense. does, man. Hip-hop has grown. For, for, exactly, <laughs> right? Um, so, man, look, to give this conversation a little bit of context, right? This is the exact definition of... One, what is it? One degree of separation when it comes to people, right? Because me and Bonix go back, and oh, now okay. here we yeah. are, right? Yeah, but that's yeah. that's a whole nother story, bro. That's fire. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, yeah. That's a whole nother story. Cushion OJ, man, I saw you tweeted today. Cushion OJ, mm -hmm. today, 13 years ago. Yeah. Can we talk about that for a little bit? It's cool, man. Uh, I dropped the, the mixtape. It's now an album. Mm. But I dropped it 13 years ago. I was in Miami the day that I dropped it. So I actually excited. launched it from here, like, officially. You know, this is where the the rocket took off at or where the baby was born. Okay. And, um, yeah, it's really cool, man, just to return here, uh, be here around this time. I just remember the feeling. I was on tour. I was just ripping it up. And when I got to Miami, I'd seen the beach, the water. I felt the weather. I was smoking weed. I had my hair out. I was like, man, I was like, this is the perfect, perfect place to drop it at. And um, just refilling those feelings and, you know, having new music on the way, being on tour, mm -hmm. having a tour on the way. Okay. It just gets me really excited. Yeah, man. Then, I mean, look, yeah. I, I, and forgive me if I may think otherwise. Right. But to me, Cushion OJ was definitely the album or the mixtape at the time that kind of gave you that momentum forward. Right. I mean, like before that, uh, uh, I really hadn't known who you were. Man, right. Right. You know, um, where was the vision for you at that point in time? man? Because yeah. you're like, what, 22 at the time? You were young, I don't bro? even know. It's 13 years. So I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, probably 22. I think that's the math. But uh for me, it was like a steady climb, you know what I'm saying? It was something that I had been working on for a minute, just developing my sound and trying to figure out uh, what I wanted to bring to the game. And really, uh, you know, I landed on Cushion Orange Juice, but there was Star Power, there's Prince of the City, there's Prince of the City right. 2. So all of these things like helped me to get to where I was at. Uh, sonically and I think you know just the culmination of the internet me being on tour me being a really fresh young new face smoking a lot of weed and doing what the hell I wanted to do uh, that was you know Cushion Orange just became like the the bible for that Bro. and uh, if people hadn't been into that before that was right. their opportunity to uh, to dive into it with us and become tailored man there, there's there's so much that you said there so I don't even know where to start but like at the time Cushion OJ man we talking 13 years ago in a place where uh, We'll call it cannabis, marijuana, weed, whatever you want to call it, right? Yeah. Man, it's not what it was like today, right? right so, yeah. so, so, can you speak on a business wise, bro? And I gotta get to Bonnick soon, bro, because I saw you rocking yeah. the Hardine and everything, right? Like, um, man, from a business level, talk about, bro. Like, we've gone. 13 years later, this means completely different, and I feel like we don't speak about this often. What? marijuana, can, whatever you want to call it, what it means to the culture of hip-hop, yeah. uh, the fabric of, of what is the music and just the culture in general. Yeah, I think it just brings people together in general. Um, I, I love, you know, hip-hop, but I'm more of like an alternative rap artist. You know, I'm not your traditional, uh, you know, hip-hop dude. Mm. And weed has been able to cross genres for me with everybody, whether it's a reggaeton artist or... Uh, funk artist from Brazil or somebody in Korea or whatever. Yeah. We all, you know, tap in to smoke weed. Even I smoked weed with a nigga who was like one of the main symphony orchestra niggas. He's like the Beethoven of our time. Sheesh. And a nigga sat down and smoked weed and broke down some of my music to me in a yeah. way that I never even understood it. Beautiful. So it's a, it's a language of its own. And weed has always been universal. It's always brought people together. It's just more less frowned upon now. Mm. And uh, I think it's being looked at as something that's not just one or two crowds, but something that is good for everybody. And of course, the medicinal yeah. uh, benefits of it. You know, a lot of people are seeing those benefits as well. So, you know, it's a great time to be into pot. It's a great time to learn about it and experiment with it and have your, your own responsible interaction with uh, some good ass weed. Khalifa Kush, I if I do say so. Man, you, you segue in it perfectly, bro. All right, um, man, without hip hop, right? Without Wiz Khalifa, right? I mean, bro, I, well, excuse me, without the DJ, right? Man, the importance of the DJ in hip hop, man. Um, I've known Bonix for years, bro. Mm -hmm. Me and Bonix go back, right? Um, can y'all, the both of y'all speak of A, 
what has been that relationship like for, because man, Bonnie's been with you for a grip, right? Like right. what's the foundation, right? Like what is it like now compared to when it was back in 2010, we were speaking, right? When, when he first hopped on and, and, and how important is it to have, I mean, look, I'm gonna give Bonnie's his flowers in front of you, right? Cause this right. is my dude right here, man. This is a DJ's DJ, you feel mm. me? Like uh, this isn't just a DJ that's up on stage doing whatever and no disrespect, right? But as someone who loves the DJ culture, what is, is there, there's gotta be significance to that, right? Yeah. Um, being from Pittsburgh, you know, we have a really rich hip hop culture and really rich musical culture. Mm. So anybody who does what they do, they're very knowledgeable about that. They didn't just run up on it and become popular at it. And Bonix put in all the work and he still puts in the work. And, you know, he has a lot of musical ideas that make him more than just a DJ. And um, that's what, you know, a real artist DJ uh, companionship is it's just the transfer of ideas you yeah, know what I'm saying it. and it's like so. we come together and I do what I do in the studio and we're able to bring that shit to life because we're both dope as fuck at what we do and if it wasn't like that then it wouldn't work like that I mean I love it because it's just for me it's always like a culture play and you know I was supporting Wiz even before I was a DJ I was you know I was just excited about a kid from Pittsburgh and mm -hmm. Um, you know, even speaking on the Cushion Oranges, when that tape dropped, that's when Wiz asked me to go on tour. I remember LeBron tweeting, mesmerizing me like, oh my God. No, but there's, there's some cuts on that. There's, but um, yeah. I love, you know, Wiz has respect to mu is in music. So mm. we're both Virgo boys. So sometimes I feel like on stage, we got like this same brain going on and mm. he doesn't even have, like, we don't even have to like tell each other sometimes. Uh, but I just, I mean, he's a, by himself, He's a cultural artist, mm. you know what I'm saying? Mm. By himself, he stands for a generation and for, uh, you know, for a culture, which is not only hip hop, but but weed culture. And matter of fact, shout out to the fact we're in Florida and he's got his own strain down here, Cleveland Yeah, Kush, there's a lot, know? man. He, we used to duck and weave in cities. I went to jail yeah. down this motherfucker and now for smoking weed, yo. He, like, to, to <laughs> see that he is, like, making money off, that's the, that's the blueprint that I feel like young people should be following is, and he's still saying true, look, he's smoking well, weed hold right on, now, you know So let me get back to that, Wiz. You said, you, you you got locked down here in Miami, yeah, in yeah. South Florida? I got locked up. I was in Broward County. Say what? Yeah, you got to yeah. speak on that. We in Broward right now, bro. <laughs> Shout out to Broward County. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. Yeah, I didn't know yeah. that. Uh, yeah, a lot of people don't know that. I mean, that ain't part of my, my right, right, legacy, right. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. But you got to pay the cost to be the boss. Yeah. At the end of the day, I never really was doing anything that bad anyway. It's just smoking pot. Smoking weed, yeah, bro. Yeah. Hey, all right, cool. Um, <laughs> The both of y'all, to me, right, musical backgrounds, man, I mean, you know, you're someone that, I mean, Wiz, for anyone that doesn't know, I mean, I feel like we got to know this, right, man, you have you were, man, you lived in a lot of places, right, before yeah. settling in Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, Bonix, bro, I, I know his background when it comes to music, like, what are, uh, uh, my man Mike Street at 106.5 The Beat, shouts to 106.5 The Beat out in Richmond, uh, he spoke to Maceo from De La Soul, right? Mm -hmm. And he had mentioned how, like, karate and karate films for him in the 90s was very influential. Right. right for that sound right you know growing up the both of y'all man what was something that like was grabbing your attention that you feel like man i this sound the sound that i produce today is yeah. because of whatever from the book. yeah um pimp movies Gee. okay <laughs> yeah i'm gonna just let it be be what it is yeah, yeah, yeah. i love karate films i love karate flicks but I get I get my flavor from the pimp movies, man. Real shit. Can you and drop like, one? Can you I name mean, one? Of course, like Superfly, like okay. you know the, the original Superfly. Yep. That's a classic. But there's a bunch. I mean, you know, but not just uh, the ones about pimping. The black exploitation mm. movies in general. Mm. It's the characters being strong black, and you know they did karate as well. Yeah. So they all knew kung fu <laughs> too, yeah, yeah, yeah. and just being cool. You know what I'm saying? Having a swag about you, being about your business. Being a ladies man, you mm. dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Being smooth. I like to drive old school cars. I like to listen to, you know, Isley Brothers and Al Green and love shit it, like that. It, it. So that's definitely my vibe. But also like, you know, 90s and 2000s buddy films too. I love comedy movies mm. and just funny ass shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, of course, weed movies, but just adventure movies yeah. with, with two people or four, four people where, you know what I mean? The storyline is really good. I enjoy those and that, that that comes off a lot of my music as well, especially like with the more crossover records mm -hmm. that sound like college anthems and shit like that, you know, yeah, that, that comes from, you know, watching fucking American Pie and, <laughs> and, and old school and shit like yeah, that, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? I think uh, like basketball for me, for sure. Mm -hmm. I was a big Barkley fan, Sixers. So, you know, um, what's that movie with Tupac? 
I can't above remember. the rim, above yeah, the above rim the, yeah, and yeah. white men can't jump yeah, yeah. and all those like That's basketball air bud yeah, nah, yeah. Nah. those are those are those are <laughs> i mean with the exception of air bud <laughs> no nah, fuck it you know air bud. Nah, shout out to air bud yeah like three movies he did he did have there was like air bud jr no shout out to air bud i love it yeah no man those are those are uh very specific snapshots in time that you know obviously feed into what hip-hop is today all right man i know there's a lot going on. So I, I'm, I'm going to leave you with this next one, bro. The next time we talk, though, I really want to talk to you about some dad stuff, bro, because I just recently had a kid. So. Oh, congratulations. Thank you, bro. It's the best you know, thing ever. You got boy or girl. I got a girl, so. Congrats. You know, <clears throat> it's it's crazy, but we'll talk about that another time. Cool. Um, I, do gotta t I do have to ask this question, because if I don't, um, why is it important to celebrate hip-hop for you, for Wiz? Why is it important for Wiz to celebrate hip-hop? And... Second, well, go ahead, answer that and I'll hit, cool. hit you with the last one. It's important for me to celebrate hip hop because of how much it affected my life, how much I was influenced and still am influenced by hip hop. And, um, you know, just able to grow up and, and learn it as a language and share it with so many other people who look like me or don't look like me. It's really cool to see like this thing, you know what I mean? And it caught me to where I was like, I, I think I could do that. But there's a lot of people who just enjoy it. And that's what it should be celebrated for is just how good it is and how it makes people feel. Oh man. I mean, just if we are looking at it as a career, like I was just thinking about the other day, it made me kind of emotional about like, I've helped my mom, you know, yeah. what got a car and like got my own house and, you know, and honestly, just cause I was a fan and I supported it and that was it. I didn't have to buy my way in or fake myself yeah. way in or, you know, it was so natural to be an older dude on the radio and Wiz was younger and just watch him help him naturally and not try to take him out of his place either. Like I just supported the way I would. Anyone, anyone that I thought was dope. So I just, you know, I, the culture where the C word for me is uh, culture is so important because yeah. if it's treated like that, I think you have something to look at, to look back on. And here we are at a country festival about to do a hip hop show. Hey so man, I mean, it speaks, crazy. bro. That speaks for itself, bro. All right, last one and we out. Uh, what does the hip hop community mean to you? Like, man, like, I mean, bro, you've been doing it for years. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, you, know, you, even got hip, you got a hip-hop community in the States, yeah, around the sure. world. Yeah, you I'm know? part of the hip-hop community, yeah. man. I'm a fan first. And um, it's everything because we're so impressionable. You know, we learn everything from hip-hop. We learn how to dress. We learn how to talk. We learn how to walk. And that shit sticks with you throughout your whole life. You might get a job or something like that, but you still gonna have that motherfucking Wu-Tang tat. <laughs> you can't, yeah, you, know, you can cover it up, but it's still right. there, motherfucker. <laughs> That's why it's important. <laughs> yeah. I love it. A community, man, I mean, still to this day, yeah. it's so great seeing my peers, especially like you, were like becoming bosses in the game. Like the kids that we, you know, grew up with are, you know, they run labels and they're running, you know, look at DJ drama and all this. So it's yeah, like facts. all these people that we came up with are making moves, they're bosses now. So it's like, it feels good to walk next to them. Uh, but you know, I just want to keep that community out there it. as well. Like, you know, I think master of ceremony should also be master of communities. Mm. And I think it's important for us to like, you know, be leaders on, and still, uh, you know, Wiz is such a good guy to look up to. I mean, even with dropping songs like peace and love, through you know throughout a lot of demonic shit happening i just think it is really bigger and i think that vision is so important so you know keeping that love in the hip-hop and just keep being creators you know that's a, that's that's a perfect way to end it man vision that's a good word right there odyssey hip-hop made miho wiz khalifa yeah dj bonix taylor gang gang bam <laughs> hip-hop made